You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Our final conversation this morning will be about the constitutional review that's going on right now. The big question is, does Nigeria need a new constitution or do we need to simply make amendments you know, to the constitution? And joining us to discuss this is a public affairs analyst, Mr. Emiri Agunwa. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good morning um, we also have a guest joining us via phone. Uh, good morning to Benjamin Atebe. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning. All right. Um, let's begin with you, Mr. Atebe, a managing partner of uh, Fidelity Law Firm. Um, the big question really has been, in the first place, does Nigeria need a constitutional review or do we simply need uh, to work on all the resolutions and uh, you know that we've had from other conferences like the confab of 2014 where do you come in mr tv okay the okay um the president's operating the uh, constitution that we have for the federal republic of nigeria is that constitution of 1999 which uh we'll say it has was drafted by the military government that is not to say whether the constitution is uh, is totally uh, wrong. The constitution has very very salient provisions, which, uh, if properly implemented, it should take a lot, take care of a lot of things that we are debating. Because that constitution, from all education, is a is a constitution that. Uh, I suppose powers are supposed to be shared by the state and the federal government. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I have said, <clears throat> there are areas that need to be reviewed so that we can have true federalism. And there are areas that we can see can be kept. Whether we need to review the constitution is not an issue any longer because going by a lot of agitation by the various sectors of the country, even you as an individual, you don't need to be a lawyer. You know that there are some things, there are some sections of the provisions of that constitution that need to be reviewed in order to meet with the current uh, agitation in Nigeria. All right. Um, so, is it, should we review or totally discard with the 1999 constitution? I am not, the, I'm not one of those that would say we should discard with it. Because the truth is that, yes, yeah, there are salient provisions, there are some provisions in the 99 constitution that uh, do not really uh, miss the agitations of everyone. But the major issue is not absence of provisions in the Constitution. The major issue is even implementation. Okay. Oh, I hold on, because Mr. Atebe. In the Constitution, we have very good provisions that can take care of a lot of the things that we are debating for. All right. And it's, it's pretty much the same with, you know, a lot of the laws, you know, that we have governing uh, Nigeria, criminal justice system. We have challenges with implementing a lot of these things. Uh, let's bring in Dr. Emery Agunwa. Um, you know, everyone, I believe, has agreed that there needs to be adjustments with, you know, uh, constitution. Uh, this morning, we're talking of, you know, either getting a new one or, you know, you know, just modifying what we currently have. But, you know, there's also people who say that the whole process is a charade and it's a waste of time and, you know, there's no sincerity with it. Uh, do you agree uh, that, you know, with those people uh, who say that, you know, this whole process is just a waste of time? Uh, um, thank you very much. I wouldn't say it's a waste of time. It's a, it's a step in the right direction. But I wouldn't also say that, that we don't have any legitimate grounds to think that the process will be totally um, not sincere, okay? Because over time, we are dealing with trust issue in the country as regards matters like this. But the question is, at least we are excited that for the first time, everybody is on the same page that this constitution needs to be, okay? Now, my thought is, 
how do we review this? Now, when we call it probably new one or review, I, all I know is that um, there's nothing actually called new in any place, okay? We're going to take something and review it, add some things to it, okay? So the question I would have asked is, how do we factor in the real consent? Okay, we have a lot of power at the center. The, the Constitution seems to give a lot of immunity to people with a um, political office. So we need to, first of all, itemize the concerns we have, okay, and review them tactically. Now, the problem is that for some strange reasons, we do not trust the process. Okay, the process, once again, is not very transparent. Um, the process, for me, is not looking like it's going to capture all the uh, the concerns of the people and also of the uh, the citizenry okay now are we going to do something that we will now take take out on our to do that we have done a constitutional review and still did not address the problems at hand okay so we have the issue of trust we have the issue of um proper sense so now the, the truth of the matter is that more than 60 percent of the country do not know that this is going on okay so it, it, uh, why are we pushing this? Are we sensitizing the masses enough? I should have expected clusters in words and in local government, okay, um, um, getting um, selected intellectuals, okay, and people who have the mind of the country and the national uh, the well being of the of, um, country to bring out loopholes and constitutions to enable them to make this constitution that would affect everybody. Um, linearly okay and wholesomely okay so uh, my thought is that we have not for now the government has not shown us that we can trust the process but also even though they have not shown us that we can trust the process we should come out completely as hello hello oh yes can you hear me are you referring to me yes yes you so we know that regarding this um constitution constitutional review there are lots of, you know, sub-factors here. Women are demanding more representation. You know, northern states say they want to create, um, northern leaders say they want to create more states. You know, there's issue of, you know, um, devolution of powers, uh, creation of state police, true federalism. There's just so much, you know, talks, uh, you know, as to what we need to change or amend in the constitution. Where do you think the key focus should be on right now? Where you think all powers involved should be able to reach a conclusion? Would you say one of this would be devolution of past to states and ensuring true federalism for the country? Okay. Um, yes. I am for true federalism for the country. Uh, the Nigerian President Constitution, like I said, to a large extent, do not represent true federalism, but it is something that can be reviewed. Then when you talk of state creation, because in your, in your, you say, you're referring to state creation, I do not, I do not concede to the idea of creating more states. Even as Nigeria is, we have too many states. That is the truth. Because when you have too many states, you waste the resources. And that is why we are wasting the resources here and there. Nigeria does not even need 36 states. Uh, and then we should be having 12 states. That is the truth. Then talking of uh, some other areas where uh, maybe women rights, if I get it very well, to be taken into consideration. A review will be able to take care of those uh, instances. I mean, let, let's see, America today has had one constitution for over 100 years. And that's why I say that the challenge is implementation of the provisions of our constitution. Is not, we can continue changing our constitution every day. But if we do not have the capacity to implement the provisions of that constitution, we will still come back to square zero. That is my position. So what we just need to do is to review the, country, the present constitution, and I believe it will be able to meet the needs of every everybody's agitation. All right, Doctor Agunwa, are you still with us? Yes, I'm sorry, apologies. Um, yeah. Technology failed me. Yeah, all right. So, so I want you to continue with you know where you were about showing sincerity, sincerity of purpose, and then there's people who've also said you know that um, you know a review of the constitution will end the agitations currently across the country where there's people who want to you know secede and have their own country in the, in the southeast, in the southwest, um, and, you know, I think, you know, some part of the middle belt. Um, so do you agree that, you know, it will be the answer to uh, the, um, you know, or the or answer to ending these uh, secessionist um, um, agitations? And also, 
Um, continue with your thoughts on sincerity of purpose. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so let me answer the first question you put out. I do not think it's going to end the agitation, okay? I, I don't think so. Uh, the concerns for the agitations are quite legitimate, okay? But it's, I don't think it's going to um, um, change it. Let me tell you something. What we are dealing with is the fact that we have lost a sense of humanity in how we approach this in this country. The best that constitution can do is to guide um, the framework of uh, expectations and also operations of the um, system and put them. But the truth of the matter is, uh, we have we have not come to see ourselves as one, and no constitution can make us be one. Okay, the best we can, the best the best the constitution can do is to um, um, reduce the power at the center, so that even though we still don't want to be one. Uh, we can be in control of our operations, probably as a state or a region, by ourselves and not be totally dependent on the center, which for some reasons, the center um, has a lot of vested interest by a particular um, um, tribe, okay? So um, I think probably will not stop it, but it's going to uh, put it at bay or just a little bit tactically because I'm, I'm foreseeing a lot of, a lot of issues that... Um, um, might not be captured on that. We have not been. A, we are not a country that factors in competence when we are doing what we're doing. So, constitution cannot factor in competence for you. Okay, what's going to factor in competence in putting in the right persons are, or um, looking for uh, inclusion? Okay, is basically uh, our our cognitive intellectual capacity, which for some reasons the people at the helm of affairs do not have at the moment. Okay, so I think what constitution is going to do is to find structures to force individual ideologies to ensure that we do not um, via, put pressure on the, 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 the delicate points of the of the constitution. Okay, which I think, which I think, um, for some strange reasons, um, Nigeria has gone beyond. This, this kind of conversation. We should have been going towards progress, um, progressive conversations as a country. But on my thoughts on um, transparency, um, I've been in this, oh, no, we are looking at the system, okay? The government has not shown us till today, both this present administration and the former administration, okay? That um, uh, all the other decisions we have that we can they can be trusted, and I can put it back to the conversation that look a lot more open as regards the confirm. Confirm look a lot more open, but the truth is that we had a lot of trust in the confirm that's going to change a lot of things, but it wasn't implemented. Okay, yeah. now whether whether we trust the process that 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 brought out the the thoughts and the ideologies. Um, is one. Do we trust the process that will implement it? So we can... Now, the two sides of the process we do not trust completely, okay? The first set is that how do we... How are we sure that what's going to come out from here um, will be what we want? Now, let's assume that that's what we want. What's the guarantee? This government has not proven over time that this stuff we are bringing out, okay, uh, like the, like, uh, uh, the barrister said, the, we have not shown enough political will and framework for implementation, mm -hmm. okay? And if we don't have that too, we can't trust the process. Anybody can draft out something, but if it's not impl implemented, then it does not affect me. It becomes a beautiful document on the shelf that does not add value to the common man. So the process, but in generating quality of uh, uh, itemizing the ideologies we want, we do not trust. Implementing the, the ideologies also, oh. we do not trust the process, but wait. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Benjamin, do we still have you? Mr. Benjamin Atebe. Yes, I'm with you. Yes. So I want to ask you about this other, you know, point of concern that other groups have raised. They're saying that Nigerians need to, you know, hold a referendum and that the constitution needs to provide, you know, for the holding of referendums in the country. Um, do you think that's advisable? Can you repeat the question again? I think get it very All right, well. I'm saying some groups, some groups, including the National Consultative Front, NCF, are saying that it's important for Nigerians to be able to hold referendums and for that provision to be in the Nigerian constitution. So do you, do you agree with that? The provision for referendum, is that what you are referring yes, to? Yes, yes. Yes, I think it, uh, I agree with it that there needs to be a provision for referendum in the constitution. Like I said, Initially, by, 
But I think uh, during my first question, I said this present constitution that we had is a making of the past Nigerian military government. To a large extent, um, the, the, the people do not make, the, 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 were not consulted enough in drafting this constitution. So I think that uh, with the various uh, positions being uh, uh, interest here and there, I believe that uh, that is now the contribution of the populace, and we should be taken into consideration if we have to review. So we need to have a referendum, a provision for a referendum in the constitution that will help people to determine Yes, if whether I still want to be part of Nigeria or whatever, and we'll be able to discuss it uh, reasonably so that without uh, causing any bloodshed and uh, everything. The truth is that it, it will be a very, very good uh, provision. I, 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 I agree with it. Oh, okay, bringing in Mr. Agoma on this same topic. Um, how about people who say this might embolden secessionists who, who are clamoring for their own country? I mean, if they can all come together and, you know, and reach a vote. Sorry, I didn't get to. I said this call for a referendum in the Nigerian constitution. How do you think this would affect the secessionist calls in the country? Uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, you can't have a building without having an exit, yeah? And um, whether we want to use it or not is totally the choice of the people inside the building. The structure of the constitution must factor in, uh, because we are independent from this, okay? A group of persons don't want to be together anymore. And if they make a valid case, uh, they have every right to move. We saw that happen in Brexit, okay? We saw things that happen in USSR. We have a lot of countries come up, even um, in the Sudan. Um, um, is also broken up. We people have, must have the right. Okay. Now, what we have not gotten is a reason to be together. Okay. And that's one of the things I think should be factored in the conversation that we have. Because looking at, we, if you give somebody a good reason not to stay together, then you must give them a door to leave. Okay. Is when it becomes imprisonment when you don't give, when you don't give them a reason to stay together. And also shut the back door so that they can leave. That becomes a prison, and that is also um, removes um, people's freedom. Okay, so I think the conversation really is find inclusion, things that will make us be together. As a matter of fact, our, our, one of our strengths as a country is our numbers. If we start breaking up, I tell you the truth, we will not be a great country no more, okay? Mm -hmm. Because by the time we break up to four different um, units, uh, I mean, we struggle. Okay, we must understand why we are together. But one of the things I must say is that the, the constitution must give option for that kind of referendum. What it means is that a certain set of persons can wake up and have an intelligence case and make a case why they don't want it. It's happening in Spain right now, okay? Um, between the, the, the Spanish government and the Catalonia government. This happening. People are saying we contribute over 70% to 80% of the resources of this country, and uh, we don't think we are treated fairly as a, as, as a group. Then, if you don't want to give us inclusion like we want, we go and look and be an independent country. Now they are making votes, okay? They've tried their own, although it's not successful yet, but at least in, in Nigeria, that conversation must happen. And because whenever I talk about uh, breaking out, somebody thinks that is a particular tribe, probably the eastern part of Nigeria that wants to go out. Who said that tomorrow the northerners will not say that they are not treated fairly? Who wants our own expression? They must be given the right of expression, okay? It's not basically because whenever we think we're fighting this, we think we are doing this for a particular set of persons. Remember, the door you are you, you are locking out for some you are locking for someone can also be your own exit route. Okay. And that's one of the things we must understand. We are collect we are we are a country of 500 different languages and um, different sets of persons and have different culture, different identities. And at times we think it's not necessary for for the whole inclusion thing, then people must make a legitimate case. We have predominant um, 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 Christians in the in the south and predominant um, Muslims in the north. Okay, now people are making cases. Why should we shut down? Why should you subject a, a, a northerner to Christian holidays when their system is not predominantly that? So now we have a lot of systems going on, but people have every right to be who they want to be and have exit round to have that conversation. I think that's one of the things we must factor in this constitution. So when you have an opinion and you think as a group a cluster and uh, make your case you can you can um, 
push it out. But much more, we must have a reason why we want to be together, not a reason why we need to um, um, use the exit clause. Dr. Emery Agunwa, Public Affairs Analyst, thank you very much for your time this morning and for sharing thank your thoughts you. with us. And um, Benjamin you. Atebe, your legal practitioner, thank you also for your time you. and for speaking with us. All right. Uh, this is where we, of course, uh, say goodbye for the breakfast here on Plus TV Africa for this week. The final um, week, isn't it? Yeah, actually. The final week uh, in May. Month of May. So we're going to be back here again next month um, on Monday morning. Thank you very much for staying with us. If you missed out on any of our conversations all through the month, remember to join us on our social media platforms, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It is simply at Plus TV Africa. Yes. I am Osao Giogbon. And I am Aneta Felix. Have a great day.